Hello, and welcome to coverage of Custom Standard Casual Matches. I'm Caillou, and today we're going to be watching a match between Fozzer and Lincoln. So Fozzer seems to be on his old favorite, Green-White Boggles, while Lincoln is testing out a new blue-black uh, graveyard brew. I'm not quite sure what to call it. It has like lots of cards which I think haven't been played yet, but I think that has more to do with them having yet to find a home. Backdoor, I'm pretty skeptical on because it costs a lot to recur instants or sorceries, and I don't know how many uh, instants or sorceries Lincoln's list actually has in the first place. Um, Wandering Necromancer has been tried in like a green black mid range list before, and I think it has potential, especially when you're trying to do stuff with Phantom Walker, which is a very aggressively oriented card. Usually you need three power to crew it, but I don't think. Uh, any of like Lincoln's other creatures actually have three power. Uh, it's mostly just he's planning on using the alternative cost of exiling a creature from his graveyard. Um, which, you know, when you get a Wandering Necromancer out, it gets pretty easy when you're milling yourself every turn. But yeah, Lincoln just going to be leading with the Phantom Walker. I'm honestly surprised that Lincoln led with the Mana Confluence turn one. Um... So in the meantime, Foz is going to cast a Cradle of Civilization, searching up for a forest. This puts him en route to be able to cast Forest Grave Guardian next turn, and then it's all a cast from there, basically. Wandering Necromancer. Yep, that's the curve we expected to see from Lincoln. Now, uh, Lincoln can't crew Phantom Walker this turn, unfortunately, but starting next turn, depending on what Lincoln hits off of Wandering Necromancer, could start getting there. However... I don't know if Lincoln has a fast enough clock to deal with this Forest Grave Guardian. Because next turn, like, Fozzer goes, like, uh, probably, probably is going to play Moonweaver first if Lincoln doesn't do anything significant. But yeah, Moonweaver, and if uh, Fozzer hits a land, can Zula Vrice for Benediction on the Forest Grave Guardian, which, you know, is a strong play. Meanwhile, Lincoln milling Inishtu and Backdoor. So, can crew Phantom Walker this turn? Um, I think, I don't know what the, I don't know what the right play would be here, but I assume it's not to attack and keep up the crew to be able to block Forest Grave Guardian next turn, which could slow Fozzer down a little bit. Um, in the meantime, doesn't really have anything good from hand. I guess Splinter of Creation is nice here, so just play Splinter of Creation and then crack the fetch and then replay the fetch. Um, and then probably just play Phantom Walker, because there's no targets for Backdoor. Okay, so going to tap for Phantom Walker, and then play Splinter Creation. Not sure how much I agree with this, because the second Phantom Walker doesn't really do much at this point in time. So Lincoln is going to crew an attack with Phantom Walker by exiling Nishtu, which, um... Maybe Lincoln hasn't played against Green White Boggles before, but oh wait, what is Lincoln pointing at? Ooh, I think oh, they, Lincoln meant to point at Phantom Walker. But yeah, I think maybe Lincoln hasn't played against uh, Boggles before, but generally Boggles has like a bunch of life gain auras, so trying to race uh, the Boggles deck becomes much harder as a result of that. Um, and keeping up a blocker, like with Phantom Walker, to be able to kill Forge Guardian if Fozzer doesn't have the right auras is probably like a much better play. So meanwhile, uh, Fozzer draws into another Cradle. So I think maybe just, I don't know how patient Fozzer wants to play this, but I think going play Moonweaver, Cradle of Civilization, grab a land, is it really, is it, that's, that's just a good line. Because... Then uh, Fozzer gets to Cantrip. Um, next turn has access to... Ooh, I don't don't agree with that sequencing. Unless... I guess Fozzer is not going to play Moonweaver. Is just going to go Ancestral Marking? Or maybe Zulav Rites for Guin Guinevere's Benediction? But I think... Hmm, could Zulav Rites for Sunstrider skill as well. But I don't know how I, how much I agree with this. Okay, no, it's actually just going to cast out uh, Stirring Pride. And then that turns Force Grave Guardian into a 4-4 lifelink. Um, 
So can basically like get over Wandering Necromancer now. So I guess Fazer is planning to play this game aggressively given uh, Lincoln's board presence. And Lincoln's just going to take the damage, not block with anything. Fazer goes up to 20. And yeah, now I don't I don't see how Lincoln can win this right now. Like. Black does have access to, uh, or I don't know if Lincoln has any Death Touch creatures. That's basically the best way to beat Boggles. It forces them to have Sunstrider skill. Of course, Fazer does have the Zula rights to tutor it up. But, yeah, I don't know if Lincoln has any Death Touch creatures, and I know he doesn't have any Edicts. So, it's definitely an uphill battle. Actually, I almost wonder whether blocking with one of these creatures was the right play, because letting it go to Grave... And then uh, uh, having something to crew Phantom Walker to blue to block Force Wave Guardian next turn guaranteed, assuming that Fazer doesn't draw into like another aura. Also, uh, Lincoln plays Tradition, forgot to mill with Wandering Necromancer at the start of turn, or if Lincoln deliberately didn't do it, uh, I feel like that was a mistake because right now Lincoln really needs gas to turn on both Phantom Walkers to be able to profitably block the Force Wave Guardian. So with Tradition mills. Banish in a back door. So, back, like, milling, like, non permanence with uh, tradition feels really bad. Um, back door normally would be able to grab banish and do something useful, but then Forest Wave Guardian has hex proof, so Lincoln is kind of just stuck on dead cards in hand. So, Lincoln is swinging out for two with the Splinter of Creation and Wandering Necromancer. Again, I think this was a mistake because, um, it leaves Lincoln with no blockers uh, on the on the crackback, um, and then double blocking with Splinter Creation plus Water Necromancer this turn would have given access to double Phantom Walker next turn, which is probably the only thing that's going to beat this Forest Grave Guardian. Still going up to a six six here it can go up to uh, God. It'll go up to I think a twelve twelve. The because it gets plus three plus three plus two. Yep, no, 13, 13, eh, 14, 14, bleh. And then, yeah, I don't think that, yeah, it's one off. Lincoln goes to one life, can't use this mana confluence anymore. Well, actually, we'll be getting two life from tradition, so if Lincoln really needs to use it, uh, Lincoln can. But not, this is not a, a good board state to be in. So Lincoln mills in Ishtu and Umber Steps. So that is one creature to be able to crew Phantom Walker with. Um, the problem is, uh, so, okay, so l let's let's assume that uh, Lincoln hits another creature off of Tradition. Then in that case, we'll be able to double crew Phantom Walker, uh, block with Wandering Necromancer. Um, that's tw That'll prevent 12. 13 with Splinter of Creation. So we'll take one damage next turn. Won't be able to kill the Forest Grave Guardian, but that buys Lincoln another turn. Uh, but yeah, Lincoln just doesn't have any lines there. Concedes. Game one goes to Fazer. And now let's see if Lincoln has anything out of the sideboard that he can do versus this matchup. Okay, so we're going into game two. Let's look at these hands. Um, three lands... Uh, Plus Wasteland Auklet is okay, but then Firelink Shrine can't pay for Wasteland Auklet, so that is a bit bit of an oof. But Fazer is going to keep it, uh, probably for hoping to like Moonweaver into something. Meanwhile, on Lincoln's side, has a two lander, but and Oracle's Ploy is dead in this matchup. But I guess turn two Anishtu, turn three Nightwater Terror into turn four Tradition is like too juicy to pass up. But all, of course, all of that, like, in, uh, everything other than an issue depends on, you know, drawing cards. Oop, but does draw the third land there, so we'll be able to curve into Nightwater Terror next turn. And an issue, uh, an issue plus tradition will make this Nightwater Terror very big very quickly. Meanwhile, on Fazer's side of this field, drawing Cradle of Civilization feels great, so probably plays Moonweaver this turn. Cradle next turn to Cantrip. Um, and then just kind of like play out Wasteland Auklet the turn after that. Um, so let's see. Lincoln does have Oracle's Ploy to kill Moonweaver. Um, 
but it depends on whether, which I think is the right play. Uh, it depends on whether Lincoln wants more board presence and just go for this night water terror, hope to like buff it up with an issue on the attack and play aggressively. Yep, Lincoln's going to play the night water terror and attack with an issue. So let's see what uh, Lincoln mills. I know Lincoln is choosing not to mill. So there must be something that either a non-creature card or just something that Lincoln wants to keep on top, which could be, I think, if there's another land on top, Lincoln will gladly keep that uh, there so that he can tradition next turn. Meanwhile, on Fazer's side of the table, drawing another land isn't super great when you want to, like, Cradle of Civilization and you already have a Firelink Shrine, but I think it's pretty fine. So tapping out for a Wasteland Auklet. I guess... Play the Boggle this turn, next turn have both Moonweaver uh, and it to be able to start Voltroning it up. Probably going Sunstriders. Actually, um, play Cradle. No, because uh, that will be the land drop, sorry. So probably just Planes, Ancestral Marking, Sunstrider skill, or Planes, Stirring Pride, Cradle, cradle of Civilization, draw two cards that way. You know, on Lincoln's side of the table, instead of Oracles playing the Moonweaver, it was a land on top, so Lincoln is going to pay for, get Tradition out, mills, a backdoor in a swamp, so this Nightwater Terror isn't going to get any bigger. Swinging with the Inishtu, Fazer can chump block, uh, but, or like not chump block, but can basically just like block it with Wasteland Auklet just to stop the damage. Um, I think Lincoln is doing this just for uh, the attack trigger to hope, and buff, to, hope to buff Nightwater Terror. But Fazer just takes it. Okay. And Lincoln once again choosing not to mill. Because just not hitting any non-creatures off of an Ishtu. Or sorry, not hitting any creatures off of an Ishtu. Fazer is hitting a bad, st a bad like stretch of lands here. But it's okay because still has lots of gas and will be cantripping more with this Moonweaver. So starting off, that's one for... I guess so we're going to go... Probably going to go Cradle into... Ooh, but then, see, the problem is uh, tapping the green for this, tapping the forest for this, I think, is a mistake. Oh, no, wait, because uh, the, the Cradle fixes. I was about to say that we won't be able to cast Stirring Pride, but then I forgot that Cradle does fix. So, yep, cast the, waste, cast the Stirring Pride on Wasteland Auklet, goes up to a 4-5. And this is, yeah, just a good, good spot to be in. Lincoln is just going to take four... And Fazer's going to go back up to 20. I was kind of scared when I saw Fazer draw, like, another Firelink Shrine off of the second Moonweaver trigger. But, uh, you know, the Gwenover's Benediction here, you got to be feeling pretty good about that. Uh, Lincoln melts two more lands off of the Tradition. This is surely not what you want to be hitting here. I think Link Lincoln, in addition to having, like, an answer suite that is ill-suited to deal with Boggles, is also just hitting like a really bad, uh, a really a really bad stretch of luck here. Um, I guess just going to Oracle deploy the Moonweaver because there's no reason not to. Mm -hmm. It does give Foster a scry, but I think at this point the constant cantripping from Moonweaver is scarier. Also, the ability to attack in the air, um, even though Stirring Pride gives Auklet Trample, there's still the potential to like have enough bodies on the ground to like. Uh, to be able to block it and maybe kill it. I mean, while Lincoln over here, I think it's just probably going to attack, just attack with an issue, have Nightwater up to block. I think this is probably the wrong move because Trample makes, uh, if you're going to attack, just attack because Trample makes Nightwater basically useless. Um, and then Backdoor doesn't do anything. I guess the Lincoln's only hope is that yeah, I don't know. I don't think Lincoln has any outs here. And then, okay, so what, what is Fazer going to do next turn? Um, next turn, Fazer plays a land, Guinevere's Benediction into Ancestral Marking into Sunstrider skill. So that will give um, plus two, so it will go up to a, to a, a six, uh, six, five. And then plus eight, so it will go up to a 14-14. Or 14 something. Yeah, so so Link. Ooh, but does Mill Wandering Necromancer off Nightwater Terror? Oh, sorry, off an Ishtu. So it goes to a 2 2. 
Um, but yeah, plus four, plus four, plus two becomes a 14, uh, 14, uh, five or 14, whatever. And then attacks. Nightwater Terror can block two of that damage, but Lincoln will still go to two life, which basically means can only use one mana confluence and all of that stuff. I guess Foster could now cast Moonweaver instead and then Cantrip further. No? Okay, just going for the Sunstrider skill. I think if Foster was planning casting the Moonweaver, he would have done it first. So we're just going to go for the Ancestral Marking, Guinevere's Benediction, all of that. Yup, yup. Oh, and 15? Did I count wrong? Okay, so Lincoln is just going to concede there. Doesn't have any outs. Even if Lincoln wasn't going to die that turn, Lincoln dies next turn anyways. So, good games to both players, but Fozzer on green-white boggles takes a 2-0 over Lincoln on what looked to be a blue-black tradition slash graveyards.